Hello everyone, hope you're all having a wonderful day, Sim 2 here, and today guys we're going to be going over what I personally think are the best talents inside of Hogwarts Legacy, going to be taking you from zero to hero, because let's be honest, no one really likes cop and knuckle sandwiches all the time, it'd be better if we were dishing them back out, right? So hopefully this video will be able to help you guys out in picking the best talent to make you OP in Hogwarts Legacy. First one we're going to be covering is the Endurance Potion Potency. This thing is absolutely amazing. It gives you 100% invincibility against every single enemy attack. And if those dark wizards try to throw in a sneaky spell at you, it deflects all projectiles back at the enemies. Not necessarily the same enemy that shot you, but it just deflects all projectiles at any enemy in the room. It is absolutely overpowered. This potion is absolutely nutty. The fact that it gives you 100% like invincibility and you're able to deflect projectiles. Highly recommend you guys pick this up, especially early game. If you're like looking for a lot more survivability now moving on over to the next one guys we are i'm going to be talking about the sense of secrecy this is kind of a two-parter there's actually two sets of secrecies that you can take which i think they give 20 percent each so i think you get like a negative 40 percent detection so the enemies have a 40 percent less chance of actually being able to spot you which is really handy for going up and executing the enemies yeah you can just kind of walk into all camps and just make sure the enemies aren't like you know in your line of sight and you can just take them all out one by one it is a little boring but it is very overpowered that the execute move uh petrificus totalus <laughs> or however you pronounce it does pretty much one shot every single enemy besides the trolls i think so yeah the sense of secret itself is not overpowered but the fact that you know the enemies aren't able to attack you as easily and you can just go around and execute them is kind of nuts now moving on over to another one that you can pick up really early and people have figured out that it is just insanely busted especially if you build into it and that is fertilizer now what does fertilizer do for each chinese chomping cabbage that you throw out you get another chinese Chinese chomping cabbage for free so usually when you throw chomping cabbages out you get three now you're able to have six now these bad boys just run around and start chomping at everybody they do insane amounts of damage only negative to the cabbages is they don't break enemy shield um, but you kind of pair these in with you actually doing your spell combos and rotations and stuff like that and you will just instantly delete everything so moving on over to the next one guys yes a lot of these are going to be from the rumor requirement section because the rumor requirement section is insanely strong so up next we have focus potion potency now what this does is as long as you use a spell from the same spell set it will refresh focus potion so as long as the enemy is in the room and you've got the same spell sets or you're using the same spell sets in your rotations or whatever you will never run out of focus potion this is insanely strong um, especially end game or towards end game where you're dealing with like thicker packs of mobs I feel like just being able to use all your spells without having to worry about cooldowns is insanely fun and it just it, the flow of combat just feels natural now next on this list we do have Avada Kedavra I bet you guys didn't see this one coming up. No, I bet you didn't. So basically, killing an enemy with a Varda Kadavra kills all cursed enemies. I know there's a little bit more buildup involved in actually using this mastery, but you can just curse enemies really easily, taking other talent uh, with stupefy, all sorts of things. Um, you can really just easily curse every enemy in the room and then just drop a Varda Kadavra mastery and just everyone's dead. The only negative is the AK does have a two minute cooldown or something like that. So you're kind of just waiting for that to come back. So that, that's the only negative to actually this talent. Now the next one on my list is going to be the Noxious Talent. Now what this does is it allows the Venomous Tentaculas to break enemy shields and deal additional damage. So these guys don't really attack very quickly, but you are, you are able to put two of these down at a time. I feel like the, the Tentaculas are a lot stronger than the Cabbages as personal preference because they are able to break enemy shields now. They're not as like aggressive as the Chomping Cabbages, but still, you put two of these bad boys down, you just cast some spells on the enemy, and you're just going to wipe the whole room. Next up, arguably, probably one of the best talents in the whole entire game, and that is Maxima Potion Potency. Now, just normally, the Maxima Potion does give you a two times increase of damage. When you take the Potency talent, it does increase it to three times. Now, that's three times on every 
be the damage that you do. And now, it also lets you break enemy shield. Now, I haven't actually tested this to see if this works with, like, the chomping cabbages, but I can't see why it doesn't, because it doesn't actually specify spells, it specifies attacks. So if someone would like to clarify if that actually works, that would kind of be insane. Either way, the Maxima Potion Potency, I think, deserves the right as probably one of the best talents inside of Hogwarts Legacy. Now I am going to be moving on to some quick honorable mentions. These ones aren't, like, as OP as, like, the first set of lists that I gave you, but they're still very very, very strong now the first one we do have headache headache just increases your mandrake stun duration from two seconds to five seconds and if you didn't know you hit enemies that are stunned you do more damage another really fun one is blood curse again you do have to curse all the enemies for this to actually work but once you've got all the enemies cursed you only have to hit one enemy and it exchanges 10 percent of your damage to the other enemies so the harder you hit the more damage the other enemies take so it's just free dps for just cursing enemies so I feel like Blood Curse is a must-have for any dark art build or just any curse build in general. So that is basically it for this list, guys. Hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, could you please leave a like and subscribe? It greatly helps the channel out. I am probably going to do another part to this video talking about like what traits are super OP because there's a lot of talents I didn't actually talk about in this video that when you pair them up with traits, yeah, it gets kind of nuts. Appreciate all love and support as always, guys. Until next time, stay safe. Peace out.